feel the theme here for August is changing your perception, changing your perception on things that you perceived one way, but you're perceiving them differently now. The inferior conjunction between the sun and Venus retrograde has piqued my interest to see what was going on with the United States chart. And this is what I have found. Going over the chart of the United States, it's, it's from July 4th, 1776 at 4.50 p.m. Third house is a strong house. The moon is there. That's the people of the United States, the emotions of the people of the United States, very ingenuitive. I am a crypto consultant. My links are below. You can schedule a free consultation with me. We can go over what you're looking to do, troubleshooting issues. It's time we get comfortable with the uncomfortable, but prepare yourselves for your future. Sun is conjunct Venus retrograde. It's an inferior conjunction starting a new eight year cycle. It's conjunct at 20 degrees of Leo. Investigative, digging deep below the surface of things. Venus is retrograde. That is a planet that is associated with finances in the eighth house. It's conjunct at a scorpionic degree of investigative, digging below the surface in the United States is a house. The same day, transiting Mars is squaring United States is Mars. Gemini is the seventh house, is the relationships with others. Today with this inferior conjunction going on and this transit, that could signify tension in relationships with others. Sharp tenseness in conversation with others. We also have transiting Jupiter at 14 degrees of Taurus in a quincunx to Saturn it is a challenging aspect. They have, there's nothing in common with these two planets. Key words that describe a quincunx is redirecting, challenging, requiring adjustments, or diverting. Redirecting Finances, challenging finances, adjustments to finances, challenging, restricting finances. Also have the transiting moon conjunct United States' natal Mercury at 24 degrees of Cancer. It's, a very, it's very strong, this transit here, because the moon it is in a degree that embodies the cancer energy, the moon's energy. Very emotional conversations happening. Mercury and cancer, emotional conversations, conversations that have to do with home. The communications at home with the people. The moon represents the people of the United States. So there's a conversation that's very emotional that's going on. Maybe something with the people, how I mean, the people are standing up and speaking out that they find unfair that they because they because people feel restricted because their finances feel restricted on august 15th the general transits is are the sun at 23 degrees of leo is squaring uranus at 23 degrees of taurus 23 degrees is the energy of aquarius innovative, spontaneous, revolutionary, Uranus rules Aquarius. In the United States' chart on the same day when the sun is squaring Uranus, transiting Mars is at 22 degrees of Virgo, is conjunct United States' natal Neptune. This is interesting because the sun represents authorities. Mars is the action. So something could potentially revolutionary happen and there's action, aggression, something with illusions, illusions and fantasies maybe, maybe are revealed here. 
Neptune is right next to the United States is midheaven, the highest point in its chart. When Mars passes over the midheaven's point, that will cause a lot of volatility, a lot of action. A lot of action will be occurring at this time. This transit happens at 22 degrees. 22 degrees is a degree of Capricorn, which represents the 10th house. It's also a very cautionary degree. It's a degree that represents ending. So there could be an ending of some sort here, something that and endings is something to do with endings, the like ending the fantasy of of how things are shown to the world, or how the people see the United States. Something being revealed on August sixteenth, the following day, transiting Mars at twenty three degrees of Virgo, trans Uranus at twenty three degrees of Taurus. That's another. Spontaneous action, reaction with Mars is fiery. It's it's not a challenge, but it's this doesn't I don't think signify as a good thing or a bad thing. It's something. There's something happening here that is gonna spark a movement, action, activity. Activity in the ninth house. That ninth house is Again, of foreign lands, foreign countries. Again, this is happening in United States' ninth house. It could be intense conversations with other countries or with just in the people in the United States. There's something happening here from the 13th of August to the 16th of August. Something in finances is affecting the people conversations people are having are emotional, upset. There's a restriction in the United States that's happening. I feel that this quincunx energy happening at the same time as the sun conjunct Venus, people are upset. And they're not, it seems like they're, they're not going to take it anymore what's just told to them and accepting that to be true. It's like people are going to be digging deeper for the truth because they don't believe what they're seeing, what's being said by authorities, ruling authorities of sorts. The Mars squaring the Mars, that's aggression, that's action. Gemini, the words in Virgo has to do with communication. It's very emotional, loud conversations happening. Something is going on or will be going on this week. With people, with the finances, with the United States. And also could include foreign, something foreign countries, foreign people, leaders, other people of other lands. There's something happening in the United States that's affecting, I believe, globally as well. Finances, yes, but restrictions of some sort. In finances, it could be more than just finances, but there's a restriction going on. I believe that people just aren't taking it anymore. They're starting to dig deeper and not accepting what is told to them. It's going to be an interesting week for the financial markets, for just life in general, the economy in the United States, and how it affects the rest of the world. I do astrology coin readings uh, for cryptocurrencies as well. You can join my Patreon group. I, I write up a monthly report about the transits that are happening throughout the month and how they influence the emotional sentiment influences the crypto market and price movement. I also do private coin chart readings for each coin. If you're looking to invest or investing, this is not financial advice, and see what the projection of movement is for the coin for the next six months out. Or you can join my Patreon where we can go over that stuff as well. My links are below. I hope you guys enjoy. I do other astrology videos as well. So if there's something you want me to cover, please leave it in the comments below. 
and let me know what you think about these transits and this week that's coming up. It's going to be very interesting to see how the events unfold. Like, subscribe, and share, and I'll talk to you guys soon.